A lot of home buyers and sellers are a little confused as to what the hell is going on in the market. And it's not hard to understand why. News coverage has made it clear as mud. And here's an example of an article from Market Watch. The heading says, Home prices fell in August from July. Okay, prices fell. Subheading says, Home price growth has slowed. So you have a heading that says the prices have fallen, and then a subheading that says the price growth has fallen. Those aren't the same thing. Whichever one is accurate, they aren't the same thing. It reiterates that price growth has slowed for four months in a row. Makes sense. Rates have been going up. Price growth should slow down. It had to slow down anyway because prices were going up so fast. But then it says, compared to July, home prices have fallen. So there you have it. It's not just that growth has slowed, but home prices have fallen. To be clear, home prices have risen for 127 consecutive months. So which is it? Are prices falling or is the increase just slowing up? As a side note, prices might see a dip, but it's also fair to notice that these articles don't ever consider seasonality. We'll post on a different day a graph here that I'm looking at that shows average and median sale prices in the Portland area since summer of 2014. And at the end of every summer, the market has seen a price drop. Without fail, every summer since 2014, which is as far back as this goes. So seasonality might be part of it, may not be all of it, time will tell. But articles like this are very difficult because prices have dropped. It says here, month over month, prices have dropped. But to be clear, they're up for 127 consecutive months. This is the type of reporting that makes people very uncomfortable because they're confused. And confusion is never good for any market. You can give people bad news and they'll take action, but confuse them and they won't. And by the way, whoever wrote this article also pointed out that Hurricane Ian down in Florida is probably going to have an impact on their real estate market, which is something my high school science teacher used to call a yeah, duh kind of statement. <laughs>